Brothers and sisters from planet Earth. I am Kalyle. Commander of a Pleiadian ship. Once again I bring news, I bring a small report. Many will start by saying, what report? Nothing changes, nothing happens, we don't see anything you say happen. We are tired of you promising, promising, promising and nothing happens. It's a shame you think that way. It's a shame that you're so calm, sitting in your chair, just waiting for the news to sink in. Your world is in turmoil. There is an armed war, spiritual of course, on the surface of your planet, but you see nothing, you perceive nothing. Because what you really want to see is confusion, it's disharmony, it's chaos. This shows you that something is happening. Just as you have this thought, millions do too. Everything happens only when it is visible, only when there is suffering, only when there is discord, disharmony. Then you are completely sure that everything is happening. The process continues. We haven't missed a deadline yet. Everything is happening according to what we planned. Yes, things often don't go exactly as planned, so that everything happens faster, but we have a solution for everything. Now, why don't things go the way we planned? Because it's not us who commands the process, it's you. You control the entire process, I mean to you, those who are awakened, those who are effectively part of the stellar beings that are on the surface of the planet, and who are responsible for their own ascensions and the ascension of the planet. This does not mean that we are placing all responsibility on your shoulders, once again you have got everything wrong. You, as a race, have what is most important in this entire process, free will. You were prepared souls a long time ago, not now, not just in this moment, not in this incarnation. You have been prepared for millennia, even those souls who were not incarnated here on the planet already knew that they would come here and perform a function. So you already knew and know, internally, what has to be done. Nobody tried to convince them of anything. This is the mission of each of you here on the planet at this moment. So yes, you are responsible, because you are part of this army responsible for the crystalline grid and all this force for the ascension of the planet. If we were to depend on the human race, as a majority, the planet would never ascend. Someone has to pull, someone has to take the lead. And that group is you, the stellar souls who are here ready to carry the planet and ascend it. So saying that you are responsible, yes you are. Are you alone? No, we're all here. Because we are also part of this mission, it is not just you who will carry out the entire process. There is an army, which is invisible to you today, but which is also responsible for the rise of this planet. In what way? Extinguishing all evil on the planet. Because by extinguishing evil, the light will have the full capacity to act and quickly elevate this planet. So when you awaken stellar souls claim that nothing is happening, each of you takes a step back in the process. Because deep down you don't believe it, deep down you are doubtful of what has been said here, by us and by many other beings of light. So are you a stellar soul? Yes. Do you have a mission? Yes. But you chose not to participate in it. Because if you doubt it, you are not with the group you are harming this entire group. So we suggest that you abort your mission, that you simply tell your spiritual master, I don't want to participate anymore. And your wishes will be respected, because if up to this point you still have doubts, you will do nothing to help, quite the opposite. To you who are stellar souls, I say, a fierce battle is happening on your surface, only those who don't want to notice it. The powerful on this planet will not hand over the planet easily, they are fighting and will fight until the end. And how will they fight? Hindering any and all attempts by the light to take control of everything they currently have control over the planet. So your communications, your news, are the worst possible, always. And because they have this power in their hands, they are able to change the energy of the planet, 
because there are millions who believe, as if they were gods, in what is said in front of the devices, on the internet. For many it may seem like we do nothing. Many are asking, why don't we do anything? Why haven't the truths come out yet? Why did they allow certain things to happen? We do not have your anxiety and despair. Everything is very well planned. We can't do anything that could lead to retaliation. And this is not typical of our strategy. Everything will be done at the right time, at the right time. If you trust us, in us I say, not just in us Pleiadians, if you trust the commands of this entire process, the great commander Sananda, there is nothing to fear. Because if he was able to bring the process this far, where you have already reached, imagine where he will be able to reach. And then those I mentioned just now, who doubt everything, will say, I didn't see anything happen, everything is the same for me as before. Once again I tell you, abort your mission, because you are not feeling anything in your heart. You're just worried about seeing and being sure that you actually believed in something tangible. Those who are watching the whole process with their hearts have seen a lot. We no longer hide in your skies. We are enjoying showing off all the time. And many, thousands, millions, have seen us. Does this appear? Does this get commented on? Does this get shared? Of course not. So why do we need to prove to you that we are working? Everything will happen at the right time. When you least expect it, it will happen. The more anxious and worried you become, the longer this deadline stretches. Because anxiety and worry is a lack of confidence, it's living in the future, and we don't live in the future. We live and work in the present, we act in the present, in what happens now. What happens in the now determines what we do a second later. We don't have that concern. We don't have this anxiety about fulfilling exactly, quickly, what you want. We want it too, we have been here for a long time, we also want to return home, but that is not why we are going to make hasty decisions that will lead to disastrous results. We have done everything so far very calmly, with a lot of planning, with a lot of exact awareness of what is happening. And nothing has happened to you until today. If we were desperate and anxious, a good part of this planet would have already gone up in flames. So just trust. Those who have the mission to elevate this planet and who are fulfilling it, with love, with their hearts, they fear nothing, they worry nothing, they just surrender to the here and now. And this is how you have to stay. Live in the here and now. Every moment you worry about tomorrow, your vibrations drop. Worrying about the here and now is keeping your vibration high. And keeping your vibrations high, that quantum of energy necessary for a planet leap, happens. So stop worrying, stop thinking that nothing happens, stop looking for news, which you won't find, and you will become more and more frustrated. Worry about yourself, about keeping your vibrations high, because at the right time, each one of you will ascend. You are pulling the planet, yes, but you will not stay until the end. It's as if you catapulted the planet, in the direction of ascension and left the scene. What happens next will not be your problem. Understand this. Yes, you are responsible for ascending the planet, yes, for taking and preparing millions to ascend too, yes. But they will not be responsible for taking people each one will go in their own time. You will go ahead because this is your mission, to prepare the fifth dimension for those who will arrive later. It's as if you went ahead to clean the house, put out flowers, plant flowers in the garden, make a beautiful supper to welcome them, perfume the environment. You still have a lot of work to do. Do not think that you will arrive in the fifth dimension and rest, on the contrary, you will have to sustain this entire process, which will continue to happen in the third dimension. But in a much higher dimension and much more prepared for it. So each one of you. Ask yourself, do you really want to move forward? If you want. 
live in the here and now, without worrying about what's happening around you. Now if you want to abort your mission, be frank and ask your master to leave it, because rest assured, you are hindering the process. Either you trust blindly or you leave. For us, it is not interesting to keep people who do not believe. Because only one is capable of unbalancing the rest. Then ask to leave, abort your mission and it will be respected with much love. We need strong, confident soldiers. We don't need fearful soldiers. Always think about the great commander of all this, Sananda. If you want to continue and don't have the strength, ask him directly. And it will certainly help each one of you to remain confident and believe that everything is happening.